Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Eddie here, Eddie Makes Art. I've got a lot of stuff to show you today. And this is the um, eighth video in the series for creating a junk journal from start to finish. Um, I've been working on a couple of the books um, here and there, putting stuff in uh, as far as, you know, pockets and some decoration. Um, and there's a few things I wanna show you today that you can use, you can make really easily to um to spruce up your book to make it look um more fun more colorful um and just you know all kinds of little bits i got all sorts of stuff going on here um so i'm just gonna start with the first thing here first of all hope everyone is doing very well um i know a lot of you have been enjoying this series so i really appreciate that and um I will probably do one more video in this series where I'll flip through a couple of the books. Um, you know, uh, as you know, typical flip through video, but um, I'm sure I will continue to um, have videos out that will show different elements that you can use um, to, to fill in your um, junk journal, you know. Um, ideas that you can um, use that are simple and fun um, and that are relatively inexpensive because um, that's how I started doing junk journals, basically with, you know, stuff I could find that I already had, stuff that I could make with stuff I already had, um, things I could find at the thrift store, um, you know, just using um, stuff I could find online that I could print out myself. Um, and you know, with that, you have to be careful. That's a whole nother video, but that's, uh, basically, you know, how I started making books. Um, but let's start. So this is one of the, one of the three books. This one is bound with the elastic. So if we need to, on this one, we can remove the page, um, or the signature and just work on an individual page if we wanted to. Um, but let's start with this here. Okay, so, you know, I'm always talking about painty pages and using book page to um, clean off my brayer when I'm doing gel printing. Well, um, this, this is some of those pages. Um, some are from um, a spray box I have where I lay the bottom of the box with um, some book page or just um, other paper. And then I use that box to spray my distress, stress, distress sprays on things. I use it to, you know, do splatter and, and, you know, all that fun stuff. So at the end of the day, I have these really cool bits of paper or, you know, I usually put in the full sheet um, and it's got all kinds of goodness on them. And this is a great way to save money as well because you're, you're not wasting paint and you'll always have something to work with in the future, even if you don't use it that same day, you know. The first thing I wanna show you is, um, I just made, cut out a couple of pockets, and you can punch holes and thumb holes if you want. And I just rounded the corners, as you can see there. And then these just make fun pockets. All I did um, is I was doing a project where I used this stamp, uh, or actually this was a stencil. This, was, uh, this is Carrie's number stencil. And Carrie Griffiths, and I just um, cleaned off the stencil onto this book page. So that's how I got that. And then I took another painted page and gusseted this, or you know, folded in the sides to kind of create a, um, not a gusset, but more of a, I don't know what you call those. Anyway, so it looks like this. And all I did was create a, so I just created a pocket. All right, put a punch hole in there if you want. So I have two of those. Um, and then the other thing is these awesome pockets. These are four pockets out of one page. So you've got, let's see, I use one of these things here. You've got one, two, three, four. Four pockets out of one page. And this was a cleanup sheet. I had done um, some splattering on a previous video, the video where I did my three um, journal toppers. And I had all this paint up here left over from the splattering. So I just took it and brushed it onto a page 
a book page and did I had more? So I did the second book page and now I've got two little pockets. I just got to glue them in. There you go. So let me show you how I made that. Oh, and then this one is, uh, somebody sent me this really cool print on some deli paper, um, a gel print, and I did the same thing. I folded it up and made a larger version of the um, four pocket pocket. So here you can see this has one, two, three, four. However, if you only glue these three sides, you technically, technically can have a fifth pocket behind. I don't always do that, but that's certainly an option. So let me show you, here, we're gonna do this tiny one first, how I fold it up. So you're gonna um, set it the long way and fold it over. So you create this, this angle here and you have a little strip there. Okay, so just like that, nothing fancy. Turn it so the straight side is towards you. And then, actually flip it over. Uh, can you do it that way? I think it's better if we do it this way. It doesn't matter, honestly. You can do it either way if your pages are, you know, painted and all that fun stuff. This one is gonna be a little bit different because it's a narrower page. So it's gonna give you a different, a slightly different setup, but it's still workable, right? Because you can use that pocket in there, you can use that pocket, that pocket, and then this pocket. So you got a little mini one here. And then I just take a bone folder and just fold it all down. So it's nice and straight. And here's the tip. You gotta make sure you glue this part here, otherwise everything's just gonna from um, for this pocket, things it's just gonna fall through when you go into that large pocket because that's just open. Um, so that's that one, and it just tucks in like that. And you don't have to glue this part; you only have to glue this opening right here. Run a thin little bead of glue, seal it, and then you're gonna glue the back. And like I said, if you don't glue everything and you just glue the edges on three sides, you can use the the back as a pocket. So it would be, you know, like this, right behind there. Okay, so let me show you on a large page. So I take my page, fold it up to create a triangle that or an angle okay. turn it over and then just create it's creating basically a tube right you have your tube there so you have a crown and then you just pull it all together you slide that right in there and then it'll come together Nice and straight. Line up your sides. And then you have it. An easy four pocket pocket that can be made into five. So that is an easy, easy way to create pockets and something interesting, an interesting looking pocket. Um, let me show you, do I have one in here? I think I put one in here already, but it could have been my other, the other book. This one I haven't done too, too much with yet. Um, let me show you this book. This is the one I've been working on the most, uh, especially during the videos. Uh, here it is. So this is a little version this one I've trimmed just because I, I I don't I don't remember why but I trimmed it and then I just decorated it with some stamps honestly just stamped it out and so I didn't leave that back open but I've got one two three and this one does not have four for some reason so this one's a three but you get the idea 
it's cute it's interesting and it doesn't take up a ton of space but you can get all those little you know cool little bits in there like for example yeah that's something like that you know put that in there and it gives the the owner of the book the person who gets the book something to play with all right so i'm just gonna make a couple more just so you get the idea I do have some hidden paper clips I need to decorate the back with, or the backs of, because I did the fronts, but I didn't do the backs. So these are just, these are four that I'm going to use in this book here. And um, it's just a basic um, hidden paper clip fold. I'm not going to show you on this one. I don't have everything ready i wasn't going to show you that anyway i might do another video on that um but for now i just want to decorate the back but as you can see it's just uh like a cream cardstock i use with a larger paper clip this is what the... where's my ruler this is the inch is it two inch yeah it's about a two inch um Paper clip. So these are the larger paper clips. And you can see here, it opens like that. And I left a little room at the top in case you want to hang something. And um, I pulled these out. I made these in a different video. These just little, um, this, use, this is just to use up um, scrapbook paper, which I have laying around. And I cut them out with a die cut, add a little um, a sentiment and some scraps of fabric and a what do you call these a bulb pin you see that cool so we can attach this to this give us an extra fun little detail here something like that um, but let's decorate the back and i'm not going to do anything fancy schmancy on them. I'm simply just going to add some paper. So we'll use that. Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put some glue on these and then lay them down and then cut around it.
certain paper clips ready to go in. Got some pockets here. Okay, those are ready. And then what do we have here? I'm just gonna get rid of that. So these are just bits and pieces I have that um, I might could use in the in the book or on the ta or on tags and stuff. So I'm just just brought it all out just to have it at the ready in case I want to use some of it. A lot of this is um, just pieces I've die cut and then stamped on. Oh, there's some other things I want to show you. These are some of the tags I'm going to use in these books. These are tags that I have already made. So we have this young man here. And you see I've used one of these dangles on here. This is just like one of those, you know, like a, a temporary keychain that's got, um, it's coffee dyed. And then I just glued some book page and a stamp and a tiny butterfly just to jazz it up. And I left this whole closed because I got this one here that I used, um, put an eyelet into. And then this is one of my rip strip pieces. If you remember, the rip strips are these things, little mini collages on strips of, um, chipboard or whatever you have um, and then you rip them out as you need them for your projects. So there you go. Um, here's another one. This one is um, distress sprays and inks and then it's stamped over with a B um, and then on top there's a, a layer of gel medium just to kind of seal it. And then on the back, all I did was I glued some um, blue cardstock, this light blue cardstock. So we can do more to that. This is a cool one. This was two big pieces. Um, I have another one in the other book, but um, I turned them into tags. I rounded the bottom, notched the top, added some really cute ribbon that goes perfectly with this. And then I embossed a stamped leaf. Very cool. Because there's so much going on in the background, I thought just a simple image on the top would be perfect. And the back is lined with coffee dyed paper. And you can write on it. I just signed that. See, so it's me. And then uh, these are some other ones I've made. This one I love. This one, this is a, what do you call those things? It's a Brad, like this. But it's like super decorative so I put that on glued that on there with um, some lace to hold it in and then just a ticket to cover it up and see she's divine so get that one and then this young lady here with another one of these little danglies oh that opened up Very careful these things they like to open up when you don't want them to Very cute butterfly. She's just hanging out with some flowers. And then on the back, this is, I want to say this is tissue. I don't remember, but that went on there with a bunch of distressing. So that one's ready to go. And then I have this one, some fabric tying it up and then just a little, put a little bug up here with some, um, what do you call it? Threads. <laughs> These are threads that are just, you know, extra um, from, you know, what I have with, you know, when I, you know, use fabrics and stuff, you get extra threads or you pull off threads. I just save them and then use them as decoration. And then the background is very similar to what I did with this tag. It's from the same family. Um, it's distress inks and stamping. Um, and then I collaged on the top and then same thing on the back and then sealed it with uh, matte medium. And this young man, he's uh, chilling here. He's got a Z, that's for his name. His name is Zach. And the back is, um, again, it's a, it's distressed. Mixed media on the back with stamping. And then this collage, it's got washi tape or washi sticker labels. Um, this is some fabric washi tape here, that's really cool. 
and then just collaged on the back. Put some labels on there. And we have this one here. These two young men. And they're hanging out in a mushroom patch. And then on this one, I actually did um, some texture paste through a stencil and then painted over it. So it's got a cool feel to it. So that's fun. Just need something to hang on there. And then this one here, the boy and his dog. Same again, mixed media tag. And then on the back, I've collaged it with, you know, just different bits and pieces, book page, ticket. And this one here, I like this one a lot. This one has a bit of that textured, it's kind of a textured um, material, it comes in a sheet. I've used it on my gel plate, you know, you can use it uh, in your book as texture. And I used a little piece here for the edge of that. And you'll notice on all of these, the the dolls are grounded, the paper dolls are grounded, meaning that they have something to stand on so they don't look like they're just, you know, out there floating on a card. Okay, just a grounded look. And then the back just has some paper so we can do something on there. So those are some tags I might wanna use in the book or books, because I'm doing three. Um, and another thing is scrap paper pads for writing, writing notes, writing whatever. Um, let me see, was it this one? So in this one, I created one to fit this fold out. So remember on the back part of the, the back, back and the front cover, we have fold outs. And so this one, I used just a piece of gel print here and that piece is a scrap from that, from when we created this pocket. So save your scraps, they come in handy. So that looks, you know, it looks very fancy because it's got the gold in it and everything. Let me hold it up to the technology so you can see it better. All right, and I just took some lined paper, cut it in strips to fit this section here. And then I even embossed a B and a wish right underneath. And then I uh, stapled it and then glued it down. So you see it's got the three staples. And this one, it's like torn. I've got some torn bits, you know, coffee dyed, regular paper, painty paper. This one, I don't know what happened with that. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take that one off there. That's weird. Um, I may have needed to write a note or something. Um, so you can, you know, create these pads and you can do a mass make on these. I've done several, um, I've used several, so I, I actually, my stash is kind of low. I just take scraps of paper that I have um, from whatever. Staple them together and then you have a notepad and then you can further decorate it by adding um, a little strip to the top and then you glue it down and it's ready to go. Or just put it in a pocket. That's good. Um, and up here, yeah, I didn't do anything up here yet. I did add this tag and this has a B on it. Yeah, I've been going crazy with the embossing. I love it. Very cute, right? So this is a bookmark. I put it in the front. So um, let's go ahead and start in the book. Yeah, we'll decorate some. So, so this one, um, I put in a poem. So I have a, I had a book of poetry I took apart. It was an old book falling apart anyway. So I took this page of poetry, which actually I tore so that I could get the poetry on the back as well. So you got two sides of poetry and then I just tore it up by hand and inked it. And it's sort of like an old piece of paper. It was tucked in there. And these are two pockets we added. And this is a um, a trio of altered um, playing cards that I created. Um, these, I believe there's a video out on these. So you got just plain playing cards. You can certainly put plain paper on the back if you wanted to, to, um, to make it um, writable. Um, and then these are just photos, oh, vintage photos with some labels. Um, underneath there's book page, 
Now these uh, photos, um, they're not available right now on my Etsy page, but these are a set of family, vintage family photos that I have that I put together. And um, if you're interested in that, um, please let me know. There's a lot of different images in there. And they are, um, like I said, they're of my family and um, family's family. But they're, they're at least, I'm 49, so they're at least 50 years old, some of these photos, if not more. Um, like this one of um, one of my relatives posing in front of this like faux, you know, window set thing. Very cool. That was probably in Puerto Rico. Oh, that's my mom fashionably dressed with her big hair and her um, cool purse. Very sassy. So if you guys are interested in a digi kit with all of these, um, let me know in the comments. If I get enough um, positive feedback, I'll post that to my Etsy page. Um, so, and those are just fun. You can tuck those in their pockets, get some painty paper. I had this pocket in last night. This is a piece of um, that uh, National Geographic <coughs> magazine page that I um, frottaged on, which means I rubbed over it with sand block and had a stencil underneath, so it created this pattern. And then I gel printed over it. So we have a nice pocket there. And I think this will go very well in here. Look at that. And what I did on this page, because this is a avocado dyed page, um, I used a rubber, st uh, not a rubber stamp, a foam stamp here to add some interest. But you still have a little bit of writing space if you wanted to, or you can write on the back. Um, but that's another way you can decorate your pages is stamping. So we'll do some of that later. And then I even embossed on here. I had some extra um, embossing ink on my stamp and I said, let me do it on something on in, in the inside of the book and there we go, did it on there. And this is just the envelope that we put in here and it's got a notch. So you can open it and tuck something in there. Okay. Uh, so where do we want to add a pocket? I want to add a pocket to this. Let's add one of these that we just made. Um, should we do the large one? Or one of these here? Let's do that one. I like that one. I am going to ink it first, though. ago I ordered these online these are huge some of these are really big so I thought maybe we could do a couple on here and then I don't know maybe stamp some words in there or glue some words down some sentiments let's see what colors which ones do we want I've got those maybe these and these throw a leaf in there What else I have? Got that, got rose. What if we did two red? Yeah, let's do two red. I don't know. This, this needs a little brightening up. I'll get a couple of threads in there, and I want to find my pin that I pulled out so I could get these open easily. Oh, I put the wrong pin in here, that's why. Okay. So I learned this from my friend, Julie Torrance. She always does this.
Okay. Easy. Thanks for that tip, Julie. Good time to get out those stickers that you've been stashing for whatever reason. Let's see if I can get this without the pin. Sometimes I can. Oh yeah, I got it, I got it. These larger ones, I admit, are a, little, a lot easier than those little tiny stickers, but sometimes I struggle. Okay, so we got that. And then we need some sentiments. Here, we'll do this. We'll do some writing on here. Uh, here, we'll just use this. It's already out. Writing on there. You just kind of put a little bit here and there. stamp. How many of you, sh of you are shocked that I know that word? I know a lot of words. I love that word, the Vitrola. Not even, what, maybe five minutes, maybe not even. Easy. Okay. Now the back. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. So what are we gonna do about it? Okay, I found something. So, got a piece of a gel print here that I made a while ago, and it kind of looks like an old, old wall with like a, you know the uh, peeling wallpaper and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna ink that up and I'm gonna glue it over that. And that'll be that. add something to this later what have you but for now I think it's good yeah that's fine with me um you know we can certainly do stuff to that um there's this page here let me show you some stenciling too um I like to do use a lot of uh, I, I like to use stencils a lot in my junk journals because it's an easy and effective way to, to decorate your pages, um, and it's quick. This is a wonky net mask, and this is available from PM Artist Studio. It also comes as a stencil. Um, let me, let's see, which ink do we wanna use? I think I'm just gonna use the uh, vintage photo for this one. big one here. Again, 
again, this is Wonky Mask. Wonky Net Mask. This is available at PM Artist Studio. I gotta clean that boy. That got a little glue on it from somewhere. From this. Maybe it was on my fingers. I think that's what it was. Um, step down. So, stenciling. Let's see if there's another page that could use some stenciling here. I've inked this up here. This um, this fold out and the page of music. Leave this for writing. Actually, for writing here, I want to show you this. So, I'm going to take some black ink and a piece of corrugated cardboard. You peel off the, the top layer and you get there's the corrugated bit. Rub it over your um, black ink stamp. And then you can create lines for someone to write on. Be How easy is that? And they're not perfect, they're a little grungy, and that's exactly what we want. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Easy. So we have we did some lines, we did some paper clips, all kinds of stuff today. We're showing the tags. Oh, I love this one. This is actually a copy of an original watercolor I did um, that I did. I copied it onto this um, coffee dyed paper. So it's given a little, it gave it a little extra richness, which I love, 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 love. I am loving this tag here and I'm loving this tag here. So let's create some pockets for these. I'm liking this because then it doesn't compete with the tag. Beautiful. Okay, I'm happy with that. So what do we have here? Now this, I'm gonna leave like this. This was a decorative edge that was already on the paper and there's lines. So if somebody, you know, you can write on there. Uh, do we want to stamp on there maybe? This one's designed by Carrie the Crafter. It's uh, letters and it's got a specific name and I honestly can't tell you right now. I believe it's grandpa's letters or his grandfather's letters. But anyway, they are on the PM Artist Studio website, pmartiststudio.com. If you look up Carrie Griffiths, you will see all of his amazing designs, stencils, and stamps. And um, this will be there. And what color? I just want to put this like down like that. And here, we're going to use this darker one. I just go over it, get some good inking on there. There's really no right way up or down because it's all scattered. Just a matter of what you want. There. Get some letters on there. We can do, let's do some letters on this. Right there, I'll do some there. And then maybe we'll do the other side. Here, just flip it over. Hey, Bob's your uncle, there you go. Okay, let's go back here. This. Let's get some of these pockets down because these are fun. Let's do this one here. 
And you know, I don't want to ink it. This particular one I don't want to ink, so I'm not gonna ink it. But I do want to make sure I glue this down. So nothing is empty or nothing falls out. Oh, words are tough. It's not Monday, it's only, oh geez, it's Thursday already? I forgot. I forget the days, it all melds into one long day. And this, you know, time change, ugh. And, you know, everything going, it, going dark so early, it just really messes with my, my timeline. Do we want it on there? I don't know if I want it on there. Gonna, here we go. I'm going to put it on here. Um, right there. A little crooked, Eddie. A little crooked. Come on. Oh, boy. So this gives you a couple seconds to, to mess around with, but not many. Yeah, I screwed that up. Okay, let's try this again. I was looking at the wrong edge to straighten it up with the, the page. That's why it was all wonky. Here we go. Beautiful. And that's not the pin I want. There it is. Now, the reason I say that's not the pin I want is because when you use, uh, put a pin in here for the glare glue, you need something that's stainless steel. Otherwise, it will rust, and um, that rust gets into your glue, and it becomes a really funky, like, rusty color. It's weird. So, just aware if you're using glitter glue and you're not, uh, and you're new to it, make sure your pin is stainless steel. I mean, they come with a pin. Um, I lost mine. I don't know where it went, but I found another one. This is stainless steel, so it works. Yeah. Put that there. Do I like that there? I don't know if I like that there now. Maybe a square one? Yeah, I like the square one better. So this just needs a little inking. And a little hole punching. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to remind you again, if you, even if you've already seen it, but when you have a thin piece of paper and you want to punch a hole with one of these punchers that aren't like super expensive, get a piece of cardstock and put it under there. Otherwise, it's going to stick and it's only going to cut half and you're going to be annoyed. So just use a thicker piece of paper underneath so that you can successfully cut that out. Otherwise, I'll show you on here, because this is so thin, look. It just crushes it, it doesn't even cut it. Another tip from your Uncle Eddie. Anchor dude. And again, I can, I'll come back later and I'll, you know, add some stuff to these pockets, you know, add some more details. But for now, you know, I just want to get these in, into position so that when um, I start filling in, they're ready to go. So let me glue this first to these right there. And then we're going to glue this. To the page. Okay. So this is kind of like a library book. Um, you know, where you put the checkout card in the back. It's kind of that envelope style. 
which is awesome. Got a tag in there about, about this one. Cool. That just needs a ribbon later on or a string or something. Look at this. This is just lying there. I'll use some of that. tied weird so we're gonna tie it weirder get this one through here come on and then we'll tie it up here create a loop now like a loop cool huh it was just something sitting on my desk. There we go. Now, you see, this book has enough room to, to use something like this that's a little thicker, you know? It's got a little bumpy. So, there you go. Move it around. Let's uh, ink up that page right quick. So easy. We did that in less than 10 minutes. So, you know, when people ask me, what do you do with all those things that you make a lot of or, you know, you make a bunch? Well, I save it and then I have it ready for when I make my book or I do something, a project that requires something, you know, like that. And, um, you know, you're ready to go. All this stuff falling everywhere. I have a very small desk. This is a... Uh, about to be a craft lanch. Here's some other stuff I can use in, in the pockets. Recipe cards for magazines. Everyone likes a nice recipe, right? That's not gonna fit there. That's too big. Here. What if we put it in here? I wish for a good recipe. There you go. Soft and crunchy beef tacos. There. That's good for now. Oh, you know what? We can stencil that. This is an ATC stencil from um, uh, PM Artist Studio. It comes in a set of nine. And where is... We got this. But I want a different color. Color should we use? We got blue on there. Let's use this blue. This is Mermaid Lagoon Distress Ink. And get some of this. Finest in the world. Let's just stick that on there. Put that one on the back since we have the embossing on the front. Now, this map here has got that big white border. Stencil it. Da -da 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 -da. Shabby shutters. And again, this is part of an, uh, another ATC set. It actually might be the same ATC set as that flower, uh, flower one. Super dark. 
but just a hint of something, you know, on there, just to, so you don't have just a white page. That's a little wonky, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. So, I think this is a good place to stop. We did a lot today. Um, maybe on the next video, we'll do some more. Um, but definitely, we'll do a flip through. And, um, yeah, it should be fun. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you got some good tips. I hope you got some... Um, good ideas for me today. And if not, well, you know, there's a comment section for that. Um, so we, you know, showcase some tags that I've made that are gonna be in the book that are fun. Um, we have our hidden paper clips. We covered up the backs in those. Some pockets out of painted pages, book pages, all different sizes. Also, we have this. This is another type of pocket. Oh, this is the larger four pocket pocket. Um, using mini, uh, using uh, strips of scrap paper to create little mini pads uh, for writing notes. And you can use them in different parts of your book. Um, on this one, did I do it on this one? It was on the other one. On this one, if you remember on the back, I used this section here. I even do a little thing. Oh, by the way, this is also stenciling. This is another stencil from PM Artist Studio. And I just went around with the um, stencil and the brush, and I just, you know, stenciled areas, picked it up, stenciled other areas. So it's kind of all mixed up, but it, it just adds so much more dimension to the, the scrapbook paper that we used. Um, so you got your notes, a little decoration there. Oh, there's another poetry strip. And on this one, I added uh, some book page and a flower. And these are um, little flower calling cards that came with a Tim, couple of Tim Holtz kits of um, you know, it's ephemera bits. And I said, uh, how am I going to use? How am I going to use these? And I had like all of these, so. I created uh, flip outs. So I put coffee dyed paper on the back, a little cardstock here to create a flip. That way there's writing space there. You can even write something here. Use the little fabric tab to pull it. And then I used a stencil. This is Carrie's Roses and I went all around and um, did the design there. And then here, because I had this card, but it's, it's a portrait um, style. I glued it to this envelope there, more coffee dyed paper. And then I did some stenciling here with the roses again. And then on this side, and then inside you've got space. To tuck something in there. What should we tuck in there? Do I have something? I think this is too big. It's a journaling card. But what, it'll, it'll fit that way, look at that. There we go. To see slowly but surely this is all getting filled up there's a lot in here and it's not even full or like you know opening so we've got this one um to finish up this is another cool tag i made it's got the b on it um that i cut out from another piece of paper and then just used these little little um sticker dots to give it lift. This has like this texture paste on it and all kinds of fun paint and stamps. This is a gel print on the back too. It's really cool. There's that. Um... Oh, you know what I should do? Let's glue this in. This is a fun pocket. I forgot I have this over here. So this is from a pharmacy bag, you know? So you see that, I think I made this, this is a video early on that I made these on. Um, and there's just, it's gel prints I collaged on there. 
So I, I folded the bag up to create these two pockets, right? And then I just, um, it creates three, actually. So you got three pockets here. It's got the built-in gusset. Um, and it's just gel print I collaged and glued on top. Let's find a spot for that. I knew I'd pull this out for a reason. Let's see, we've got all that fun, fun. Now, I'm not gonna cover a lot of this up because there's some good reading in here. I thought it would be cool for, you know, whoever owns this to be able to look in here. That would be cool, that's, you know, to read some stuff. How about, should we do it here? Let's see, this is the back half of the signature. You know what, I think I'm gonna put it on here on the music page. Because that'll be perfect. Let's ink up the page and let me do a different color here. Let's use some yellower, something more yellow is fossilized amber. There you have it. I wonder if these tags are too tall. It's actually bookmarks. No, that's good. So this can get one. This is a bookmark I made. I don't think I did it on video. I think it was just one of those things where I sat down and I was like, I gotta do something. And um, yeah, so I used some black stock, card stock that I gel printed on with gold paint. And there is also, um, modeling paste that I used uh, through the, the roses stencil. And this is just some gold paper. And then on the other side, there's a gel print on there and, and the paper dolls with a couple of, with the love quotes. This is about love. So we'll put that in there. Journal card, old photo. Let's put a journal card in here. And then I'm gonna space here. We can put this here. So yeah, look at that. Get all kinds of stuff in there and it's not too thick. Put the document here and the paper clip here. Or should we just fold it up? Let's fold it up. How about we do that? Fold it up and then we can put, put our clip up here. Come on, it's a slippery paper. That's why I'm having trouble. This this piece here. All right, there we go. Easy peasy. And let's we can attach something there. Close that up. And there you go. So, got a lot done today. That's so exciting. Thanks for joining me today for another episode of um, How to Make a Junk Journal Start to Finish. Um, and like I said earlier, I think the next video will just be the final one for this particular series where I show you um, what I've done with the book. And then um, after that, I will definitely continue giving you more ideas on how to um, embellish, decorate, and make a junk journal. That's fabulous. So thanks for joining me. Have a great day. And I will see you very soon.